today I'm going to be showing you a recipe on how to make bitter leaf soup. Bitter leaf soup, I mean Ofo Nubu. That is the Anambara soup. I don't know whether it's Anambara people that owns it, but my place we don't eat it much like that. I'm from other states, so I'm going to be showing you how to make it. So in here I have my cow hair, goat meat and fish salmon fish that I've already cooked and I'm going to be putting it inside the palm nut that I've already processed that is aqu I cooked it and after pounding it this is the water I'm going to be using it as my palm oil and for this soup using the palm nut makes it more delicious than when you are using the palm oil so let's get started. This is the meat and this is the stock fish. This is the fish and the stock fish I'll be using for the soup. And this is the kokoyam. I've already pounded it. This is the maggi that I'll be using. This is pepper. This is crayfish. And this is salt. This is the bitter leaf. That is onubo that I'll be using. So let's get started. I'm going to be going in right now with the dry fish and the stock fish into the milk. I'll put it inside here and I'll add my crayfish, maggi, pepper and the, bit, the cocoyam then I'll cover it and later I will show you what it looks like. Let's get started. So this is a fish I've added it into the pot the dry fish and the stock fish and I'm going in with the cocoa yam So I've added the cocoyam. Now I'm going to be adding my crayfish. Yes. This is the consistency of the soup. How thick it is. This is it. You guys might add why I'm not using ogiri. Why I'm not using okuri for the soup, which is locust beans, I am not using it because my husband doesn't like it. Like I earlier said, this soup I think is for the Anambra people, or is it for the Inubi people? I don't know. But I just like making it because I learned a lot from my sister. I'm adding the meat and I'm going in with the meat. After adding the meat, I'll add the rest of the ingredients and color it. I'm going in with the meat now. I'm going in with the meat as you can see. I learned a lot from my sister while living with her <coughs> in her shop. She was a very good cook. So there's no way you stay with such a person and you don't learn anything. So guys, thank you so much for sticking with me up to this time. Thank you for always watching. I really appreciate it. I am not despising my humble beginning. So I am really happy for you being here. Thank you so so much. So I was saying I'm not going to be adding the local beans to it. That is the only ingredient I'm not going to be adding. 
a very other ingredient that is used for this soup. I'm using it, which I've introduced to you. So, you don't add any meat. I'm going to add the bitter leaves. I'll mind you, I washed the bitter leaves myself. Very well cleaned then. I also cooked it a bit so that it will not be bitter. So I've added it. I'm going to add a little water to it. Then I will also cover it to cook. Then I'll come back and show you. When I come back, I will test it to see whether the salt and the maggie is enough in it. Then I'll know whether I'm adding more. Before put it down. Thank you so much, guys. I'm coming to check it so that I'll see how it is. So this is it. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. I'm going to taste it to see if the maggi and the salt is enough. I have to add one more maggi to it. I'm adding one more maggi and some pinch of salt guys this is actually, actually delicious you need to taste this and see i'm telling you the truth i'm not lying to you so i'm going to turn it Try this. So guys, this is me coming to put the soup down. This is the end product of the soup, my bitter leaf soup. You need to try this recipe. Please drop any comment in the any question you have in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you for watching. Please, if you have watched up to this time and you have not subscribed, please, I beg you, click the subscription bell. Click on the notification button that whenever I post a new video, you get notified. Thank you so much.